So what do you do when you have a CFA and after you run it and you freeze it and you look at standardized estimates, you have an indicator loading greater than one? This is a problem. And the way to fix this is not very evident. Here is one option. You can move the constraint. See, the constraint right now is on Q6. Let me move it. I just double clicked it. I'm going to remove its regression constraint and I'm going to put that constraint on the other factor. Sorry, the other uh, indicator path. Let's see if that fixed it. Hit up. Nope, didn't fix it. That's lame. Well, here's another option. You can put the constraint on, and get rid of this, on the factor itself. Put a 1 here. Let's run that, see if it fixed it. Nope, no change. Well, that's too bad. Here's a way you can fix it almost every time for sure. Leave that constraint right there, but then we're going to put a common string constraint on both of these indicator paths. I'm just going to name them both AAA. It's very important that they have the exact same label. That's what this is. It's a constraint label. So if they have identical labels, this tells Amos that we want them to be forced to be equal when unstandardized. So check it out. If I hit run and I look at the unstandardized, hit the up arrow, they're identical, 81 and 81. If I look at the standardized, then they're adjusted. These also take into account the relative impact. So from before, you may recall this was 1.04 and this was something like 42, I think, 0.42. So this is still the weaker of the loadings, but now they're both within the allowed um, thresholds of plus and minus one. And that's how you fix it.